All right, guys, welcome to part two of notes 2.18. So we're going to practice a little bit, and these uh, problems are going to be very similar to your homework. All right, so number one, if I have eight plus six, well, what number plus six will give me the same answer? Well, this right here is 14, right? So some number plus six will also give me 14, and the answer is eight, because six plus eight is 14. So what uh, property did I just uh, illustrate? It was the commutative property of addition. So you can say com of addition. All right. Um, number three. If I group three times nine first and then multiply by 15, that's the same thing as three times the grouping of nine and what number? Well, notice they just shifted the parentheses over, right? They just moved this parentheses over so that three was not no longer in the parentheses, so that we should have nine and what number? 15 in the parentheses. So this is an example of the associative property. So we would say ASSOC, um, property of multiplication, say M-U-L-T. On your test, I'm going to ask you to probably write it out. Um, number five, uh, again, it looks like we have a grouping problem here, right? So anything with parentheses, unless it's trying to illustrate the distributive property, um, like number four is right here, um, you can probably bet that it has something to do with the associative property. So um, we have the grouping of 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.7 is the same thing as the grouping of 0 0.5. There should be a plus sign there, sorry. Um, and 0 point what and 0 0.7. So again, notice they're just shifting these parentheses over, right? The parentheses moves to here, to here in this problem, right? So I'm going to erase that. Um, so what number am I missing? I'm missing 0 0.2. And again, this is the associative property. But this time, it's of addition, right? How do I know it's addition? Because I see nothing but addition signs. Um, what about uh, this one? We have 3 times 7 um, plus 5 is the same thing as blank times 3 plus 5. Now, this is tricky. You might think, oh, this is another associative property because I see parentheses. But notice, the 5 in both cases is outside the parentheses. So it's not like they move the parentheses. So the only thing they could have done is flip-flopped the numbers on the inside, and that's exactly what they do. They move the 3 to this side, the 7 to that side. 3 times 7 is the same thing as 7 times 3. So 7 is the missing number that we have, and it's the community property of multiplication. All right, so sometimes they like to give you these problems with nothing but variables instead of numbers. So let's take a look at this one. x plus y is going to be the same thing as what plus x. So we have x plus y is the same thing as, and again, it looks like they just flip flop the numbers, just moving the numbers around. So this is going to be y. It goes right there. And again, it's the commutative property, but this time of what? Of addition. All right, so you're going to go 2 through 10 uh, when you finish this uh, notes video. Um, so you have one buzz math level today. Um, I'm going to pick out some of the more difficult problems from this. So pay attention to this video because it will really help you on your buzz math level. So 3 plus 4 is the same thing as 4 plus 3. That should ring out right away. Hey, that's the community property. And it sure is right there. Right? The grouping of 3 plus 4 plus 6 is the same thing as 3 plus 4 plus the grouping of 4, sorry, 3 plus the grouping of 4 plus 6. So all they did was change the grouping. So here they moved stuff, and here they changed the grouping. So when you have that changing of grouping, you should know that, hey, that's the associative property. But of what? It's of uh, addition. But in this case, all they have is just the associative property. Right, so 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. Anytime you've seen something that says, hey, I'm starting with a number and I'm ending with that number, identity property should immediately ring into your head. Now, is this the identity of multiplication or addition? It's the identity of addition because uh, we're adding. So the identity property, um, or otherwise known as the additive identity property, which is right here. 3 times 1 is the same thing as 3. Again, that's identity, right? We are not changing the identity of 3, right, by multiplying it by 1. So that's going to be the identity property of multiplication or the multiplicative identity property. Now, 3 times 0 is equal to 0. Anytime you're saying this, hey, this something times 0 to 0, that should ring off right away. That's the 0 property. 
and that's the zero property of multiplication. So we have two left over, um, and we're left with the distributive property of subtraction and the distributive property over uh, of multiplication over addition. Um, these should be fairly straightforward. This one's got an addition sign, right? So that's why that one is over addition, and this one's got a subtraction sign. That's why that's the distributive property over subtraction. All right, so that's a very difficult one. Make sure you go through that um, when you're on BuzzMath through this video very carefully uh, so you don't get it wrong a whole bunch of times. Um, all right, so what statements are true? Addition has an identity problem. It sure does, right? Um, 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. That's the addition identity property of addition. Addition has an associate property. That is absolutely true. Um, 3 plus 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 3. Addition, is, uh, sorry, I messed that up. That was the community property, my bad. Um, so the grouping of 3 plus 2 is the same thing, plus 1 is the same thing as the grouping of, um, we'll call it 3 plus 2 plus 1. Right? Addition is not commutative. That is false, right? Because addition is commutative. 3 plus 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 3. So here are your two true statements, and this is a false statement. Which statements are true? Subtraction is not commutative. That is true, right? 5 minus 3 is not an equal sign with a slash to it means is not. Is not the same thing as 3 minus 5, right? This is 2. This is negative 2. So subtraction is not commutative, just like division is not commutative. Subtraction has an identity properly. Well, was 5 minus 0, 5? Yes, that is true. Um, so, sorry, I messed this up. This is not true, so this is, f uh, wait, this is true. Sorry, getting my knots confused. This is true, and this is true. Subtraction is associative. This is false, right? So the reason why this one was true is because it had the keyword not commutative. If it said subtraction is commutative, that would be a false statement. Uh, subtraction is associative, that's false, right? Um, the grouping of subtraction matters. So saying 5 minus 3 minus 1 is way different than saying, oh, I want to do um, 5 minus 3 minus 1, right? Um, this would be 2 minus 1, and then this would be 5 minus 2. Um, so you get a different answer in those cases. Right? Which of the statements about multiplication is true? Multiplication is not commutative. That's false because we do have a um, commutative property of multiplication. Multiplication cannot be distributed over subtraction. That is false. Just go right back up here. Right? You have 3 times 4, which is 3 times 4, minus 3 times 6. That's distributing over subtraction. So that's another false statement. Um, Multiplication is associative. Yes, we do have a multiplication uh, property, sorry, associative property of multiplication. Multiplication has an identity property. Yeah, that's true. That's 5 times 1 is 5. Multiplication can be distributed over addition. Yeah, also true. So you got three true statements here. Um, and the reason why this one is not true, it says cannot. And the reason why this one's not true, it says is not, right? Uh, multiplication is commutative. It can be distributed over subtraction. It is associative does have an identity property, it can be distributed over addition. These would all be true statements if these two did not have the not and cannot words in them. All right, so the last one, just match up the expression with its correct value. So 78 plus 1 is just 79. 78 times 1 is 78. 78 times 0 is 0. 64 plus 0 is just 64. And 64 plus 1 is 65. So notice that these are not properties, right? Adding 1 to a number, there's no such property there. Just adding one more. And that's the end of part two. On to BuzzMath.